Building an interstellar starship during transit. Would it be feasible to have an interstellar vessel be constructed in flight after smaller sections are boosted up to speed? The idea here is about using laser sails which would be easier to use with somewhat smaller designs, because of problems with aerial density, the mass carried per unit of area a consequence of the square, cube law. The problem is that once you're up to speed, you'd really want artificial gravity. A ship small and light enough to make laser sails practical would be hard to give decent artificial gravity. So one potentially interesting solution occurred to me. Instead of building the ship before launching it, take smaller independent sections of the ship and launch them individually, building the full-sized ship once they are all together. Does this seem feasible, once you accept the ideas of laser sails and interstellar vessels in the first place? Another upside is that there is something of an interesting dramatic hook to the idea that the smaller ships are launched independently and form their own societies before coming together. Edit, to clarify, I mean in deep space, at a fairly high speed of around 10 to 20 percent of light speed. I'm assuming the big risk during construction would be that of collisions. I don't think this is wise for laser sail propelled craft. Okay, you've thrown spacecraft one at 10% of the speed of light, spending several months to years on your laser array running it up to that speed. Time to throw spacecraft two. You now have to throw spacecraft two at spacecraft one, and throw it significantly faster. Upon reaching spacecraft one, spacecraft two must guide itself close enough to spacecraft one, and match velocities and dock. How this happens is an interesting question, perhaps Spacecraft 1 is using its laser sail as a mirror to reflect the laser now propelling it back at Spacecraft 2's sail. But if this process fails, Spacecraft 2 closes on Spacecraft 1 with a relative velocity at closest approach of a small fraction of the speed of light. The best case scenario in this situation is that the spacecraft miss each other, decelerate at the destination, and rendezvous at saner velocities. Oh, and Spacecraft 3 is on the way, moving even faster. Either way, it is significantly less hassle to either build your laser sail colony ship at your space dock, where you can make sure everything fits together and tests properly while there's still a shipyard within reach, or to throw multiple spacecraft that will function independently for the entire length of the journey.